Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on review of the Azul Byte Plus Windows 10 Mini Desktop PC. Now, this item was sent to me so I can try it out, make a video for you guys. So this video is being sponsored by Azul. Now, this item, I also been using it for over a week already. And just like always, I like to put the items back into the box so you guys can see how what to expect when you get them through the mail, of course. So right here, like you see right here, it says full windows 10 operating system has two gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of internal storage there is a 64-bit intel cherry trail t3 z8300 quad core 1.44 gigahertz up to 1.84 gigahertz and it's compatible with dual monitor display uh, why because it uses the hdmi and the vga at the same time Okay, so here, let's go ahead and take it out of the box so you can see what's in the box. Um, here on the left side, this blue box right here, what you're going to find is the AC power adapter uh, that goes from the power outlet to your Byte Plus Mini PC. The cable is around 5 foot long, maybe a couple inches longer, but it's around 5 foot long, which I think is long enough. Here in the box, let's go ahead and take this out and let's go ahead and have access to the Azul Byte Plus. Let's go ahead and put it here. And of course, in the box, you're also going to have like some little quick guide cards and all that. And of course, some warning labels as well that you see here. And of course, I think this actually has a one year warranty. Uh, also, this label right here on the top is going to actually warn you that this device actually gets really hot up here in the surface uh, so just to be careful because of course if you're using this a lot like a lot of gaming and a lot of work for a lot of hours of course this right here is like uh, aluminum or metal um, it is really really hard to surface and it can get hot uh, right here of course you got the power button which uh, when it's off it's uh, it's like in red when it's on it turns blue um, here you got the buy plus branding right there and here on the side of course you have a micro sd slot so you can add some more storage uh, keep in mind the internal storage is 32 gigabytes of storage but you can add some more storage here as well here in the back you have the ports and you also have the antenna this antenna is actually a dual band it's compatible with 2.4 gigahertz and 5.0 gigahertz uh, you have the vga port you have a usb 2.0 you have the power input which you're going to connect that and you also have the hdmi input and you have an ethernet port which is better than wi-fi of course and you have two usb 3.0 so you get three usb ports and you have a kensington lock there and of course here you have a port for your headphones or a microphone that you can actually plug right there so like you see here for a small box this thing is loaded with ports uh it's pretty cool that it has a vga port and it has three usb ports two being usb 3.0 here in the bottom the surface here you got like rubber like you see it's already you can see a little bit of dust right there that's because it was being used and it has no fans as well this is a cool thing about this device that it doesn't have any any fans whatsoever so when you put it in your home on your home theater right next to your tv it's going to be really really silent uh, for this device i'm going to be using this keyboard right here you can use this keyboard with a rf dongle you can use this if you want or if you have one of these bluetooth keyboards with a touchpad you can also use it as well which is this is the one that i'm actually going to be using during this video demo so right here like you see here we're ready to hook it up to the tv i'm going to be using my tv and right here all you got to do of course is just plug in the power there and plug in your hdmi cable and that's it you're ready to go you have to do nothing more just set it up next to your tv or anywhere you want but i i honestly recommend being near the tv and i can see there the button turns red since uh, it's letting you know that it has power it is not on because when it turns on it turns blue so that keep that in mind so let's go ahead and lift the antenna there and um, here while it's loaded of course like i said before i'm going to be using the keyboard with the touchpad 
And of course, if you are familiar with Windows 10 or any PC out there in the market, you should know that you should always use your same user ID that you use on your PC. That way, all your wallpapers and all your files transfer over. And that's what I did with this device. Uh, like you see here, if I press the, the Windows button, you get the Start button, which is, of course, again, very, very familiar if you use Windows 10 before. You get Cortana, which is like a normal feature for Windows 10. Uh, here you got the calendar. Up here you also got the notification center, right? The notification center, activities, action center. And of course, go ahead and clear this up. And of course, here you got other toggles like tablet mode, connect, uh, airplane, I think, uh, airplane mode? No, I don't think so. But I have like Bluetooth as well. This item has Bluetooth 4.0. And here you got the Sony TV. Like see that recognizes that's connected to my Sony TV. So this is where you can up and down the volume. But if you have the keyboard, you can actually do it from the keyboard. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and connect here to my Wi-Fi. And like you see there, I can I can see my both bands, 2.4 and my 4 5.0. That's very cool that it actually has both bands. So right here, I'm gonna connect to the, the 2.4 and we're done there and of course here if you have other devices connected like uh, of course i got my bluetooth connected there i got me OneDrive there uh the cool thing of course of having a windows pc is that you have access to the store and and windows 10 is very very friendly with apps and games that you can download so that's a good thing about having on the big screen here of course you have the browser which of course is the edge browser but keep in mind this is windows so you can actually install any browser that you want if you want to download safari or chrome you could do that as well uh right here we are let's go ahead here and show you guys my pc right there so you guys can see the storage uh like i said this is a 32 gigabyte storage but when you open it up you're actually going to be getting around 16 gigabytes of storage uh right here i'm adding a usb dongle which is another 32 gigabytes that i'm adding there um, and that, of course, you could keep adding some more storage if you want. If you have a big hard drive, you could do that as well. And, of course, here, like you see, you can also use the multitask. I think this is called the multitask function. You can see all the windows right there. Um, here, we're going to go ahead and access the graphic control panel. This is from Intel HD graphic control panels. And from here, of course, you can always adjust the resolution of the screen. And right now I'm using this at 1080p, 1080p, and it's working pretty good. The PC automatically recognizes your TV. That's a good thing that once you plug it in with your HDMI, it's going to automatically recognize that you are connected to a 720 or to a 1080p and it's going to change to that resolution. And of course, just like on any PC, you can change the background and you can also change the color of the tiles in the start menu as well. And let me go ahead and show you guys the information about this PC right there. You want to pause the video so you can read that a little bit better go ahead and do that okay so here again back to the windows store let's go ahead and download the vlc application uh like you see here you could use any application as you that you want as default just like you would on your pc um here for media i actually love using vlc instead of using the windows media center um also the netflix application i'd rather use the netflix application than the browser but if you prefer the browser experience you can also use the browser experience for netflix or hulu as well but here like you see the application goes full screen perfectly good it looks honestly it looks just like an application that you would find on a console or an xbox or playstation 4 it works perfectly good and of course uh once you play a movie it's going to automatically recognize if you are connected to you know a high-end tv a 10 720p or whatever and of course depending on the quality of your broadband that's the going to be the quality of your service or streaming as well and like you see here we can also if you are a hulu member the windows has a hulu application as well uh, these are the two 
application that I use the most on this device. And I can see there it works perfectly good at full screen. But for my Amazon Prime, I actually like to use the browser. And for some reason, I actually like to use the browser instead. Uh, and of course, you, right here, I could go ahead and some do some window shopping or browsing shopping as well. And of course, I don't think I don't think Amazon actually has a Amazon video application for Windows yet. I don't think so. Um, here we are playing some sound from my files that I have right here. Like you see there sounds pretty cool the sound that you listening it's coming from the TV so like I said you could use this box as a box to watch movies a box to listen to music and it's going to close right here it's going to close that and let's go ahead and open a video since I can watch videos here uh, from I'm gonna use the VLC like you see there to ask me which application you want to use so here I'm using VLC and this is a gameplay video that I recorded on the PlayStation 4 like you see there with the USB drive I just pass it you know pass it from the PlayStation 4 to the PC and it works perfectly good I can see. sounds awesome and it looks great of course, the other thing that you can do here is play some casual gaming as well. But one thing that I wanted to try is that if the Xbox uh, application actually works on this device and it works, it works really, really, really good. So right here, we are connected to the application, right? And we have the option to connect to the play to the Xbox one via streaming. And I tried it, I did the test, and it, I actually got all the check marks, which is great. I was surprised that I actually got all the check marks because on other PCs I tried, uh, sometimes I get like three check marks. And I can see here I have the Xbox One S controller connected via cable to the console, to the console, I was gonna say console, to the Byte Plus via USB cable. Of course, you can use it via Bluetooth as well. Uh, right here, like like see there, while I'm launching it, it did pixelate a little bit, but after playing it for like, um, after playing it almost an hour, it, I didn't see no pixelation whatsoever. Just the initial loading of the gameplay, that's when I actually saw the, the pixelation, but after that, I didn't see it at all. It played very smoothly, uh, but of course, like I said before, this is gonna, it's power demanding. So, of course, the top of your PC, the Byte Plus PC can get a little bit warm or hot, depending on your taste, of course. And, but, you know, that's pretty cool. I was surprised because I've tried this on other devices, and I think this application doesn't work on every Windows tablet, because I think this application requires a minimum, has a minimum requirement when it comes to RAM and when it comes to CPU. And this is running in a uh, Intel Trail, you know, I, that's why I thought it was not going to be compatible, but it is compatible. Uh, another thing here is going to close this. Of course, you could turn off your Xbox One from your PC or any other device you're connected to it. And let's go ahead and put it down right here. And right here, you can also play other games downloaded from the store. Like, for example, here I'm playing Modern Combat 5, and I'm using the gamepad that I did a video a couple weeks ago I think it's called uh, um, the G4 something G4s something like that and it's cool because you can plug in the RF dongle that hooks up to your USB port and you can connect the gamepad like that that's the way I'm getting connected here so I'm actually wireless using the dongle that's pretty damn cool and like I said just like every other game some games are gonna play better than others depending on the specification requirements. But so far I played a couple games already here like this game and I also played Asphalt 8 and I also played another game I can't remember, it's another shooter over the top and it plays perfectly good, no problems whatsoever. Um, here, let's go ahead and switch back right here. Um, like you saw there, you saw the icon for the PlayStation Now service. I did plug it in here and install it uh, launch some games here uh, the only negative thing is the service you know the service is really slow and loading a game here takes forever and uh, but other than that yes you can use the service on this device but because of the servers you know it might be very slow loading the games 
So, of course, when it comes to productivity, the Biplusk is also capable of doing a lot of that. Uh, you could do uh, presentations with uh, PowerPoints. You could do Excel. You could do Word. Uh, like, see here, I'm using Word Mobile. But you can also use the uh, web version of Word, which is 365 or something like that. Uh, and, of course, you can install your favorite applications uh, for editing text. Uh, for me, it's Evernote. But any application that's available for editing on the Windows Store, you can download it here. Uh, you can create the notes here, and it will sync, of course, with your devices once you're done. And of course, just like on any Windows 10 PC, you could do the split screen feature, which is you use one portion of the screen for one application and the other portion of the screen for another application. Um, also, I use a lot of Dropbox, and so Dropbox is also available for Windows 10 as well. But if you prefer OneDrive, yeah, you can also use that or if you prefer like Google Drive you can also do that as well and of course if you want picture editing you could do that here too with uh, Adobe Photoshop Express or any application that's available in the Windows Store or you could use like a web browser application like Pixlr it works perfectly good and for me Pixlr is my favorite application when it comes to editing pictures because it's free and it's in the browser it works pretty good as well the other great thing about having a PC connected to your TV is that you can also use Cortana. You can say, hey Cortana, and ask for something. But of course, if you want to use the voice feature, you're going to have to connect a microphone to the USB port or to the audio jack, which also supports microphone. Or the other thing is that if you like to use like Skype, if you communicate with your family via Skype, you could do that as well. You can hook up a camera to one of the USB ports, uh, put the camera on top of the TV right there and communicate with your family just like you would on any laptop or PC or even on your tablet. Um, that's a great thing about having a like a small home theater connected to your TV. And that's it, guys. I showed you the unboxing of the Byte Plus from Azul, uh, which, of course, this one right here is the 2 gigabyte RAM version. There is a 4 gigabyte RAM version available for $189. This one right here is $169. Um, I'm going to leave the links in my descriptions. That way, if you're interested, you could go ahead and visit the website of Azul and read from there. Or you could go ahead to the Amazon links and purchase it from there as well. So, guys, thanks for watching the video like i said this is a very cool mini pc that you can hook it up to your tv and have access to the windows store you can also play video games and do a lot of casual work as well and you can use it for homework as well if you're one of those students that have a, a tv but don't have a pc this is a very cool option for you so guys thanks for watching my videos till next time